are looking at the historic Arlington Hotel right here in downtown Hot Springs. The place to be today, it is state championship Saturday. Centennial Bank State Volleyball Championships presented by Everett Buick GMC on Arkansas PBS Sports as the two teams that are competing for the Class 3A state championship are on the court right now. I'm Joey McWilliams along with Madison Fitzpatrick and it is a fantastic day for volleyball. These two teams have been on a collision course since last year's state semifinals, and they are competing for the finals today. Oh yeah, both teams fired up. I mean, right in front of us, Baptist Prep is doing a little cheer. The, the stands are filling up. We're really excited. You know, Hackett has the experience of being in state finals, and with that experience comes comfortability playing in front of a big crowd. And if you're comfortable, you can be more aggressive and you can take more risks. So there's gonna be high level volleyball today because both teams are very experienced. And it is underway right now, the Class 3A State Volleyball Championship and the Baptist Prep Eagles get the first point on the board. The entire team celebrates. The fan base behind us excited as well. Baptist Prep 35 and 6 coming into today's championship match. Hackett 28 and 1 on the year. We mentioned the last time these two teams met was last year. They have not faced each other this year. And it was in the semifinals. Hackett came away with a victory there, ultimately fell to Paris in the championship match last year. This year, a little bit different story. Hackett, by the way, did get some degree of vengeance on Paris, dispatching them a little bit earlier in the playoffs. Baptist Prep with two points to get things going in the early, early stages of this match, and Hackett gets his, its first point on the board. And Madison, you know, we talk about these two teams in particular. Let's let's uh, look at Hackett right now. It's a team with experience, and uh, their coach, Coach Bridget Freeman, says that experience gives them confidence. Oh, yep, exactly. She says in big scenarios like this, they're very comfortable. She looks to Mackenzie Freeman, their outside hitter, 6'1", just a sophomore. She says they look to them to hit the ball straight down pretty much every time, and they rely on that authority. And then she also says they rely on Mackenzie Menden Hall, outside hitter, senior, 5'11". She says she's more placement and smarts, but players with that experience, they kind of lean on on their team. Hackett gets the point right there, but with three points on the board already for the Eagles, we've seen some offensive fire, firepower, and we know this is a team that's going to rely on that. Yeah, Baptist Prep, their stats with kills are very impressive. We have Abby Renshaw, number 12, with 353 kills on the season. Allison Jackson, number 15, 374 kills. Paige Webb, 148 kills. And Maddie Stephenson, 236 kills. So Baptist Prep, obviously, really big offensively. 4 to our score here in the Bank OZK Arena, right here in downtown Hot Springs. And the Eagles, and you might be able to hear their fan base behind us as well. They came out and not in short supply as well. Faith Upshaw just lining up right in front of that middle hitter, pressing her hands over the the net and we'll get the block. Hornets hanging around. As experience, we talked about giving them confidence. Another thing that, that the Hornets have, it's a lot of camaraderie as well. Yep, coach said that's their strength is the camaraderie and the chemistry. She said that makes them really strong. <laughs> Baptist Prep fired up. They are Addy Fielder, the setter, just pushing that one over. Great placement. She is fired up about that. Seems like right off of the gate, Baptist Prep with the momentum. But she's it's listed, a long game. She's listed as 5'8". I don't know. A lot of players for Baptist Prep right in that 5'7", 5'8", 5'9", range. No players in the six-foot range on their team, but really big offensively. Oh, one player, my mistake. But these girls can jump. Five foot or not, they can jump. And there's Jackson trying to go up for that block. She's their lone six-footer. 
Hornets get the point. Baptist Prep hitting 286 in the early going. And Hackett, three kills, two errors. Yeah. Still trailing by just a point. We saw Baptist Prep take care of things, dispatching things quickly, getting their early points. That was a longer volley that time. The point goes a little bit longer. The Eagles still come away with the point. The crowd behind us obviously thrilled about that. But it's interesting to see both of those ways work. Is it going to be just a strong offense where you have to score early, or can you compete through a long point and still come away and get it? Exactly. That's what makes a really good team. And we just saw right there Faith Upshaw just on the slide. The ball was a little bit too outside, and she still drove through. And that just speaks to the athleticism of the offense in Baptist Prep. Long set. The defense is there for Hackett. Fantastic job. Aubrey Ruckles and Alana Rothwell in on the block. And Baptist Prep has to be ready to cover the ball because Hackett's a very good blocking team. There for the block as well. That one goes out, however. The Eagles get the point. Faith Upshaw on the slide has been really effective so far, just tooling the hands of Hackett. <laughs> Trying to find the placement, can't do it. Nice dig. Another opportunity for the Eagles. On the block, but in the net that time. And so the Hornets get the point. Yep, that's the key also with these long rallies. You can get a little tired, you can get a little sloppy, but you have to stay disciplined and eliminate those errors. Strong, absolutely. Abby Renshaw with another kill, her third of the afternoon. That was an incredible swing and a really good set. That's a testament to their setter right there. She led the hitter very well. Abby had time to take that long approach and have a lot of power behind her hit. And we are seeing, you're right, exactly right, some great sets from Baptist Prep. Nice dig. They're going to keep this point alive. Goes on a little bit longer than what the Eagles could control. Michael and Freeman, a freshman outside, coming in. What a rally. I mean, really good plays by both teams. And I just want to shout out. Allison Jackson for that pancake. That's a very hard skill to master. And as a high schooler, that's very impressive. Michael and Freeman along with McKenzie. Freshman and a sophomore on this team for Coach Bridget Freeman. It's a family affair. The Eagles are getting opportunity after opportunity. And I'll tell you what, if they can stay in system, this is going to be a, a big afternoon for Baptist Prep. Exactly. And they've been in system so far. And the ball's been in front of them. Really good passes, really good sets. The momentum is in their favor. And so is the crowd behind us. <laughs> well, if you add the strong play in system, throw a service ace in there. And uh, well, somebody threw another volleyball under the court and had to slow down play right there. I don't know if that's going to take away any of the momentum from the Eagles right now. Abby Renshaw to serve. 5'11 junior outside. And defense, the order of the day now. Paige Webb. Webb listed at 5'9, a junior middle. That's what's so good about an aggressive serve. If you can get the other team in chaos, Get them to have a bad pass. You've got chances to score. Yeah. 
Turnabout's fair play. How about that? Just inside the back line, Hornets get the point. That's a big point for Hackett right now. Momentum clearly in the favor of the Eagles. Yep, Hackett needed that point. Baptist Prep making some insane plays. Eagles hitting 333 right now. Nice job, Jim, from Webb. Hornets keep it alive. Webb there on defense. It goes long. So the Hornets are going to come away with a point there, but I think you have to mention what Baptist Prep has been doing on the line right now, on that front line. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's every single hit. Oh, here comes the ball. Shank, but every single hit has been powerful, really well placed, and really the setter is doing a great job leading her hitters and, and mixing the ball around, you know, giving the other team some different looks. I think it is worth pointing out, Abby Fielder number eight and Paige Webb number 23 on that front line together for Baptist Prep. Fielder's listed at 5'8", Webb is listed at 5'9". One of those numbers is wrong. That's all I'm gonna say. One of those numbers is wrong. Won't say which one. There's definitely not an inch <laughs> there's, there's, there's a little more than an inch disparity there. <laughs> that one goes long. And the Eagles stop a mini run now from the Hornets. Webb has taken a seat. Nice job. Presley Morris keeping things alive. And Freeman tries to go strong. The defense is there once again. Allison Jackson getting up high over the net, pressing her hands over the ball. I mean, over the net. Wow. Fantastic block. Time out on the court as we keep it right here and it gives us an opportunity then to talk about what Baptist Prep is doing. Of course, uh, the Eagles 35 and 6 on the season coming into this Class 3A state championship match, Madison. And I know. We were looking at numbers, looking at this team, thinking about uh, what they bring to the table. The offense has been on display, but in these last few points, what they've done there at the net and that front line play, I think is, has just been huge. It's part of the reason they're up four right now. Yep, you can definitely see where their strengths lie. I mean, with hitting, we've got players over 300, 353, 374. 236, I mean, they have a ton of kills, and, and now it's obvious why. Their setter is so talented. She leads them very well, and the hitters have a lot of range. Not just power, but a lot of range. You know, you can experience the action of the state championships all over again next week as well. Watch all the championship games at youtube.com slash Arkansas PBS. The Eagles are going to see Presley Morris, 5'3", senior libero. Serve with a four-point advantage here in this first set. Presley Moore has been playing very, very well. Been a major reason why the Baptist Prep is always in system. The defense is there, but that one goes long. Mackenzie Freeman, 6'1", sophomore with the kill. You know, Mackenzie Freeman was the one that the coach said she puts the ball straight down with authority. And I think that we're going to see her start to warm up and start to heat up as we go on later in the match. Great dig by the Hornets. That one misplayed off of Best's wrist. Tiana Best with a team best three kills at this point in the first set. But that one went awry. 11, 7, 17, 13, excuse me. Eagles on top. Yeah! Taking care of business there on the front line for Hackett. Best corrects that previous play. 
It's a fantastic swing. She has a lot of snap on the ball, and that gets the ball moving at a very downward, downward trajectory. That's a hard word to say. <laughs> uh, but really good swing by her. Well, the fan base is excited behind us. The players excited on the court. I don't know if there's anyone more excited than head coach Krista Spoon. It's like she wants to jump onto the court, running back and forth with her team. You got to love it. She's committed. She has celebrated every point in enthusiastic fashion. And right now, there are 19 on the board. Opportunity now for Baptist Prep once again, staying in and pushing that one over was Fielder. Ultimately, it works out to the advantage of the Eagles. Nice placement, and the Hornets didn't respond as well. No, and Fielder will record a kill right there. Very smart. She can feel the other teams in a little bit of chaos. She sees the open court. She sends the ball straight there, and they take a 20 to 14 lead. Another timeout on the court, and you are watching Centennial Bank State Volleyball Championships presented by Everett Buick GMC on Arkansas PBS Sports. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first, by empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charities, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind, Centennial Bank, member FDIC. There she is, Coach Krista Spoon, head coach who is seeing her team lead by six here. And the team and the crowd cheering on the serve. That one goes wide. Eagles up by a touchdown. And you see a lot of the times when one team gets momentum, the other team kind of coils in. They start making more errors because they're not being as aggressive. They give that point back. Six point advantage again, but the Eagles are creeping very close here to taking set one. <laughs> Great hustle on the part of the Eagles. And Allison Jackson came in. She said, oh, I'm so sorry. I fully expected her to jump over both of us. I was going to duck. I respect the pursuit of the ball. No, she didn't need to be sorry. That's some heads up play. That's what the state championship's all about. Exactly. Give it all. Leave it on the court, maybe in the media table. <laughs> Greenshaw with another strong hit. Error, net violation. Eagles, point again. Abby Coleman, a 5'7 senior to serve now for Baptist Prep. There's another error by Hackett, playing a little tentative now, and, and that's costing them. Now you don't want to push anything past. You want to give it all through, but it, Hornets, and I think that, that that hit kind of sums it up, that one by Freeman. One, just get through this set. Exactly, and you know, you want to get through the set, but then you, you also, you need to gain momentum. So I really would have loved to see her jump and hit that ball rather than make a standing hit. Eagles get the point and take the first set. Baptist Prep on top, 1-0 in this Class 3A state championship. Back to the second set in a moment. You are watching the Centennial Bank State Volleyball Championships presented by Everett Buick GMC on Arkansas PBS Sports. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first, by empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charities, education, and exceptional service, because we are proud to call Arkansas home. 
Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank. Member FDIC. We never gonna stop. For every moment, for every memory, from that first car, to your first home, to your first child, and all the highs and lows that tomorrow might bring. For everything that matters most to you and your family, there's someone right around the corner dedicated to helping you protect what you love. Your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent. Farm Bureau Insurance. Real service. Real people. Can you see her greatness when you attend her games, when you cheer her on, or when you participate in any way, you support your community and make it better, and you will see her greatness. Join us as we pledge to increase the visibility of women's sports in our communities. It makes a difference when we all are involved. At Everett Butte GMC, we proudly support our local female athletes and encourage you to do the same. See her greatness. The Baptist Prep Eagles. Lineup looks like this. And actually is a, a looking at the Hackett starting lineup there, head coach Bridget Freeman. Mackenzie Mendenhall, Mackenzie Freeman, Alana Rothwell, as well as Prairie Vaughn, Tiana Best, Kylie Hill, Aubrey Ruggles, Michael and Freeman, freshman coming in, Lindley Oxford. Hackett trailing one set to nothing right now as the Eagles getting some good performance so far from Abby Renshaw. Wearing number 12 there in the blue and red. Renshaw, four kills, hitting 429. She had a service ace as well. Yep, Renshaw playing really strong and honestly, pretty much every single offensive player on the Baptist prep team playing very strong. Coach Krista Spoon for the Baptist Prep Eagles. Again, if she has any energy left over when this match is over with, win or lose, I'm going to be surprised because she's just like one of the players. She's giving it all out here for her team. Yep. I feel like she drank about three energy drinks before this. <laughs> but I would too. Her team's at state. It's exciting. That is what it's all about. State championship Saturday here, Bank OZK Arena. This is match number two of five today. We have 4A, 5A, and 6A on the way here on Arkansas PBS Sports. Please stick around. Set two just about to get underway. And the Eagles will serve first. Doing the honors is Addie Fielder, the 5'8 sophomore. I think she's about 5'6. Yeah but it doesn't matter because she's a really good hey, setter. She, she has taken care of business today. Mm -hmm. Looking at, at her numbers too, she has nine assists through the first set, a couple of kills. Hornets attack, nice dig. Eagles can't find system there. And the Hornets will ultimately get the point. Tie this one up at one apiece. The Hornets led by Tiana Best in set number one with four kills. Michael and Freeman had three. McKenzie Freeman with two as well. But it was a whole lot of Baptist prep Eagles. Abby Renshaw, those four kills, we talked about that. Eddie Fielder with nine assists. And seven digs from Presley Morris. Yeah, I think Hackett's going to start to look to both of the McKenzie's, as the coach said. She said they rely on them in big pressure situations, so I wouldn't be surprised if they start to get fed the ball a lot. Mendenhall, a senior, Freeman, a sophomore. A nice set, an even better kill from Renshaw. And that one off the block sent into about the third row. Baptist Prep is on a mission. Now, here are the Hackett Hornets. The block is there, but they just didn't quite get their hands pressed over enough, allowing for a tool to take place. Yes. 
Nice dig, fielder, set, and from the 10-foot line, it's gonna come back. Another one coming back, defense there for the Hornets. Fielder tries to place it. This time, the set and the kill. Coming in strong for the Eagles is Maddie Stevenson. And they're cheering her name behind us, and that was a fantastic swing right down the line. Hackett defense did not know where that was going. Renshaw to serve. Stevenson, another senior, playing in her final match today. Goes long, Eagles get another point, up 4-2. You know, some of these athletes are going to be playing at the next level in, in all of our matches today. So we say final match, final high school match. But you know, there's something to being playing, to playing on, on championship Saturday. If your oh. final match is going to be on championship Saturday, then that's a good way to go out. Exactly. You can leave your high school volleyball career very proud, win or lose. Making it to state is such a feat. Strong attack from Jackson. Keeps it alive as well. Can't continue the point. The Hornets get that one, but lots of credit going to Allison Jackson. The 6'1 senior giving it all. Yep, fantastic swing and, and really Baptist Prep just, the communication was not there on that play. Service error, point goes back to the Eagles. Serving now for Baptist Press, Prep, Presley Morris. And there's the opportunity, Jackson taps it over. Hornets with a shot. Nice dig by Morris. And getting that one past the defense just through the net. Maddie Stevenson, senior, showing up again. I'm very impressed by Baptist Prep's offense. You see she's not even tight to the net and she's still swinging with a ton of power and a ton of aggression. Great placement, good job for Hackett. Prairie Vaughn getting that over the setter, just taking it taking care of business on her own. By the way, Madison, talk about some setters too. I mean, what, what Vaughn did there was was obviously key, but what we're seeing from Baptist Press uh, Prep as well, yeah. we're seeing some cross-court sets. I mean, they're, they're taking opportunities and really putting it out there for both sides of the court, outside, opposite side to get involved. Oh yeah, out of system, I mean, kind of just jinxed her, but the play before that, she can has a ton of power, keeps that ball in front of her, sets the outside from a very far, way away and it's it's very impressive that's really high level setting by her it's it's cross court just begins to describe some of these sets six all right now Hornets get another point Jackson has that sent back and Hackett with another point Hackett has a lot of blocks so far this game and maybe they've been tooled a few times but they're getting up there pressing their hands over the net, and, and it's going to start paying off. They just have to stay disciplined. Strong attack, stays alive. Hornets keep it alive again. Not this time. Hackett, no stranger to the finals. We've talked about that. Came up short to Paris last year. However, won in the state championship in 2019 and 2020, trying to make it three in four years, but Baptist Prep is not making that an easy opportunity today. Nope, it seems like before the game, they made a collective decision to come out and be as aggressive as possible, and it is really paying off early on. Kylie Hill, a 5'8 senior serving for Hackett. One into the net, Hornets will get another point. Hackett trailing one set to nothing here in this Class 3A state championship. I'll tell you what, Baptist Prep serve receive is really fantastic. They're giving their setter a perfect pass every single time. 
Definitely are. And Fielder takes advantage of that. Fielder has 13 assists so far today. She also has three kills. Yep, that's, that's a sign of a good team when your setter is also an offensive tool that can score points. She's not there just to set up everybody else. She's going to score points on her own and keep the other team guessing what she's going to do. Michael and Freeman on the line. Not able to stop that one. Baptist Prep has been very successful when Faith Upshaw runs the slide. The block's not getting there in time. They're not pressing. And she's gotten a tool every single time she's ran behind. And Upshaw, by the way, four kills in six attacks, no errors. Another one into the net for the Eagles. And the Hornets. I think they put that on the wrong side of the scoreboard there. I believe it should be 11-9. I think you're right. Yeah, they'll get that adjusted here in just a moment here in-house. In the meantime, for Hackett, it'll be Lily Oxford. 5-4 sophomore libero. Lily Oxford with only one dig so far. Oh, I think that's really a testament to how strong the Eagles have been on offense. Exactly. They're finding that open court, not even giving Hackett an opportunity to make the dig. And as if on cue. <laughs> you know, it's very impressive. Abby Renshaw made an error right before this play, comes back, swings just as aggressively, and that's what makes a good player is if you're not afraid to make mistakes and you keep going at it. Now, you don't want to say you can't remember everything, but there are some things you have to put into short-term memory loss and let it go. Exactly. Short-term memory is key, and I think Abby has short-term memory. Two <laughs> kills back-to-back, -back, one swing, one tip, really using all of her wheelhouse here to score. Well, it was 11-9 just a moment ago, and then Freeman upped her game. Renshaw, excuse me, upped her game. Jackson doesn't get it over from the line, and so Hackett will get another opportunity here. Up to serve for the Hornets is Prairie Vaughn, junior setter. Greenshot just couldn't get over in time for that set. It was high enough, placed well, but she was a little far back. So Hackett with an opportunity. The set and the placement. And that was put exactly where it needed to be. Alana Rothwell getting the kill. Really smart play by her. She saw that middle court very open. Tips it right there. And I feel like the libero could have laid out, but there's just some communication errors, and that's a hard spot to dig. That one pushed over quickly. Paige Webb. Now that's a power tip if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Waits behind the ball, keeps it in front of her, and powers through that tip. Probably the tallest front line of the day now for Baptist Prep. Which when you have Webb and Jackson both up there. Yep, with this tall line, let's see if they can get some blocks. They are forcing Hackett to make some errors, though. <laughs> Renshaw with another ace. Renshaw is having herself a game. Seven kills, hitting three, eight, five, and another ace. Two of those on the afternoon. This one is playable. And Renshaw back. Great dig. Jackson. Hornets put it into place. Another great dig. Laying out that time was Vaughn. Eagles and Paige Webb. 
extend the lead. I am really impressed by Baptist Prep Setter. Leads her. She waits behind the ball, swings through, and even though it was tight, she still comes in aggressive because she knows she can tool off the hands of Hackett. Timeout on the court, Coach Spoon. Her team is up by two. We'll take a break. You're watching the Centennial Bank State Volleyball Championships presented by Everett Buick GMC on Arkansas PBS Sports. Can you see her greatness? When you attend her games, when you cheer her on, or when you participate in any way, you support your community and make it better, and you will see her greatness. Join us as we pledge to increase the visibility of women's sports in our communities. It makes a difference when we all are involved. At Everett Duke GMC, we proudly support our local female athletes and encourage you to do the same. See her greatness. Set number one went the way of the Eagles. Set number two, at least favoring the Eagles here. The Banco ZK Arena. And Coach Freeman looking for the, the right answers here. She, she talked about the fact that her girls have, have played well, but even through the playoffs, there have been a couple of matches in which she's had to switch up the lineups a little bit. And so you take that time out, make the adjustments that are necessary. We'll see how they come out. Yep, it's all about grit right now. Defense, Webb is there. Jackson, another kill. Jackson with a ton of power. She gets a lot of space from the ball, takes that long approach. It's very strong, having a lot of success from the outside. That one goes a little bit too far. Renshaw with the error. But the Eagles got some points. That little mini run while Renshaw was serving back on top. Little cushion as the Hornets now trying to make something happen. Mackenzie Mendenhall, the senior to serve. Can't take advantage of it. I think that most of Baptist Prep's kills, I mean, if they're not straight down, then it's tooling off the hands of Hackett. So Hackett really needs to stay disciplined in their blocking. Line up correctly and press over the net. Presley Morris with 13 digs on the afternoon so far. Nice placement. Mackenzie Freeman, the sophomore, puts one back in the Hackett column. Mackenzie Freeman for fourth kill off 10 attempts. From the line, and Upshaw's just going to put that back over. Opportunity now for the Hornets. Defense is there for Baptist Prep. Upshaw had a strong attack. Violation at the line, and the Eagles get the point. Upshaw, very consistent player. No errors. Just hit that ball powerfully, got. Got Hackett in a bit of trouble, and the setter couldn't quite get there to double, double the ball. Too strong. <laughs> Service error. Hornets back to within two. Set number two with the first one going to the Eagles. Hornets try to counter here. Abby Renshaw hitting 385. Faith Upshaw, we just mentioned her hitting 667 for the match. Yeah, that's a fantastic statistic. You know, Hackett graduated four seniors last year so the coach said they're gonna have to step up some people have to step up and fill those leadership roles and i you can kind of tell that there's they're a bit younger this year michael and freeman hits that one into the net she's a freshman part of that young squad brings a lot to the court for hackett eagles hit that too strong hackett just hanging around Staying within a two-point gap. Running out of real estate, though. If they're going to make a move, they're going to have to do something pretty quickly as the second set is starting to wind down. Placement, good job. Another great set by Fielder. And another good kill from Renshaw. 
Fantastic placement again by Renshaw. Right there, no one can even touch it. That's her eighth kill. And you watch that defense slide over there and there's nowhere for them to go, no time to get back. And Renshaw's having a fantastic afternoon, now hitting 429. And just when you start talking about Baptist Press offense, you have to talk about the defense as well. Mm -hmm. Their blockers are all over. It seems like every single ball that could come over, they're there. They're up in the air, and, and they're posing quite a threat to the Hackett offense. Now hit wide, point to the Eagles. Timeout, Hornets. Set two, starting to get away from Hackett. Coach Freeman calls a timeout. We'll take one as well. You're watching the Centennial Bank State Volleyball Championships presented by Everett Buick GMC on Arkansas PBS Sports. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first. By empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charities, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind, Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Coach Freeman, we talked about her making some adjustments after the last time out. Let's see if any of those come into play here. Sometimes the time out just to give your team an opportunity to calm down just a little bit, recollect their thoughts as Abby Coleman will be serving for Baptist Prep and the Eagles three points away from taking set number two. Nice job that time by Minden Hall, the senior. That's how you come out of a timeout. Exactly, that's why you call the timeout. You wanna make the other team think, you wanna slow down their momentum, and then you wanna regroup and put yourself in a better position than you were before. Strong hit, a little bit too strong for Renshaw. Back to back points for the Hornets. Yep, that, that timeout boating well for them for sure. Renshaw keeps it alive. Chance now for Hackett and misplayed at the net. Rothwell just couldn't get the handle on that one. And that's a really a, a Big missed opportunity for Hackett. You have a good serve, you get the other team out of system, and then you get a free ball and you're hoping that you can convert and just the Hackett middle, she was just too far behind the ball. Great placement, good job by the Hornets. Staying alive, found the open spot in the back right. You know, a lot of the times you see a team break away and then you see a team kind of you know, shy away and let the other team break away. But I'm very impressed with Hackett. They've they've stayed within three or four points of Baptist Prep this entire time. Tipped over. Opportunity now. Goes long, but it was touched. So point Hackett. There was almost a scandal. I don't think the line judge saw the touch right away, but there was definitely a touch on that ball. I don't, I don't believe that the Eagles have too much to be frustrated about right then. No, exactly. It was pretty obviously a touch, and Hackett really needed that point to stay in this game and to still have an opportunity. We see it here. Yep. The blocker just up a little too late. Goes right off her fingertips. The question here is, can the Hornets pull any of the momentum back? Looks like the answer might be no. Yep. Hackett block, not really able to get in there and completely close it. And Abby just hit in the seam right there. Set point now for Abby Renshaw to serve. Renshaw has two service aces prior to this. This one playable. And Morris, a long set. Jackson tips back the other way. Now Fielder with the opportunity for Jackson. And the Hornets stay alive here in set number two. I tell you what, I'm very impressed by the way that Baptist Prep feeds all of their hitters. It doesn't matter how far away they are, they're gonna send that ball 
and try and get Hackett kind of off balance. And it's hard for Hackett's block to read that. Here's Fielder again. Great dig. Hornets will keep it alive. Fielder takes care of business herself. Set number two goes to Baptist Prep. Fielder's so impressive. She can read the court so well. It seems like she, she knew that there was a hole right there and so deceptive. Doesn't even look like she's going to do it, and then she just dumps the ball right over. That's her fourth kill of the afternoon, and none bigger. Baptist Prep up two sets to none in this Class 3A state championship match. You're watching the Centennial Bank State Volleyball Championships presented by Everett Buick GMC on Arkansas PBS Sports. Thanks, George. Appreciate it. At Big Red Stores, we're always proud to sponsor, support, and partner up with many events and activities throughout the community. Among them, high school championships throughout the state of Arkansas. At Big Red Stores, our team members are always ready to assist you to make your visit with us a pleasant one. And at Big Red Stores, we recognize that none of our support or ability to serve the community is possible without you. That's why, at Big Red Stores, you're always the MVP of the Big Red team. Big Red Stores, now more convenient than ever. Since 2010, the rates of mental health issues such as anxiety, depression, burnout, and suicide have skyrocketed among American farmers. The growing season will follow six Arkansas farmers through a year on their land and hopefully will provide some insight along the way. I'm your host, Ben Dickey of Arkansas PBS. Join us on the growing season. Look for new episodes on the second Friday of each month, available wherever you get your podcasts. We on that next level. We on that next level. Broadcast of this championship game is made possible by the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Over 2,500 team members across 17 local electric distribution co-ops powering homes, farms, and industries somewhere across Arkansas. We are the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Power and people. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first. By empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charity, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank. Member FDIC. For every moment, for every memory, from that first car, to your first home, to your first child, and all the highs and lows that tomorrow might bring. For everything that matters most to you and your family, there's someone right around the corner dedicated to helping you protect what you love. Your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent. Farm Bureau Insurance. Real service. Real people. We have the Arkansas PBS student all-star for 3A, Ellery Gillum out of Hoxie High School. Outside hitter senior, 3.8 GPA. Her future plan is to pursue a career in the medical field. Congratulations, Ellery Gillum, Arkansas PBS student all-star. Yeah, congratulations to her, great goals. Two teams with a goal today in this match. Only one is gonna come out on top. And right now, the Baptist Prep Eagles Having their way in this championship match, up two sets to none over the team that defeated them in the state semifinals last year. Baptist Prep trying to get their revenge, and all of their hitters are playing so aggressively. It's really impressive to watch. Addie Field of the sophomore is having a great afternoon. And we talked about her kill to close out set number two. I was just about to mention what she's done setting her team, 21 assists on the afternoon to go with four kills and five digs. Great day for Fielder, the sophomore, really putting up numbers and a nice serve as well. That's a hard area of the court to defend. 
Right there, very back deep corner. Really good placement by Hackett. Back to serve now for Hackett is McKenzie Mendenhall and the service error to give things back to the Eagles. Looking at numbers through the first couple of sets, Abby Renshaw hitting 375. She has nine kills on the day. Fielder we mentioned with four. That is second on her team along with Faith Upshaw. Maddox Stevenson. Defense there. We just can't talk about offensive numbers very long for this Eagles team before they show you they can play at the net as well. Exactly. Get the middle, get in. Oh, close that block. And she's so tall, has such a high reach. It's really hard to get the ball past her if you're Hackett. Paige Webb. And I will make this point just one more time, not to belabor this at all, but just to make the point. Listed at 5'9", she is not. No. She Definitely. is strong and uh, just a great wingspan, but strong at the net. And very coordinated, too. For the Hornets, after two sets, four players with four kills apiece. And Tiana Best, Michael and Freeman, Mackenzie Freeman, and Mackenzie Mendenhall. It just hasn't been enough put together in a set to come away on top. That one goes long. Yep, the Hornets definitely looking to shift the momentum, get the energy back on their side. And they're going to need a few players to step up if they're going to do that. Another assist at the net. And another kill for the Eagles. Maddie Stevenson having a very good game. Five kills, hitting 2-5 hitting percentage. She's very athletic, you can tell. Jackson at the net, drops that down. And the Hornets looking around a little bit. I think a little concerned who was supposed to get there, who was supposed to be over. And also maybe asking about a net violation as well. That's what I think. I think they think she was in the net or maybe over. But I don't think the refs saw it. It may get a point of clarification, but they're not going to get the point. It's going to stay with the Eagles. Morris back to serve. Presley Morris has had a good afternoon. 14 digs, a couple of assists. Hornets now. Fielder tried to just put that one back in play. You get that close to the net, and when, when you start directing the ball back the other direction, you know things aren't always necessarily right. Exactly. If, as a hitter, if you see your setter crashing towards the net, being a little tight, you kind of want to take a step back. That way you know just in case it pulls off the net, you're still going to be behind the ball and be able to make an attack on it. Great set. And a nice point on the way. Freeman with the second opportunity. That one is good. Mackenzie Freeman with the kill. Freeman and a lot of her teammates have been very successful hitting that back corner. Seems to be an open spot, a weak spot in the Baptist prep defense. Jackson, great dig though by Hill. Freeman again. Point Hornets again. The Hornets gaining some momentum. Getting some kills. This is what they were looking to do, and they're going to need to continue this. They got a 7 6 lead. Not this time. Eagles will get this one back. One thing that's very impressive to me about Allison Jackson is the power and the aggression she brings to every single attack. She may make an error, but she's going to bounce back from it and still come out as aggressive. And Mackenzie Freeman taking shot after shot, trying to get her team back into it, but the Eagles defense is there. Feed her while she's hot. <laughs> 
Kill after kill. Wind up and the swing. Aubrey Ruggles, the junior middle, credited the point that time. That will be Aubrey Ruggles' first kill of the night or the day. <laughs> it's going to be a long day here. It's yeah. all right. <laughs> Lots of championship matches going on. More on the way. Class 4A state championship match coming up next. Scheduled for 3 o'clock. We'll see how all this works out, though. Eagles up two sets to none. And Fielder with a long set, and that time, Renshaw's not able to get over to it. Hornets get the point and knock this one up again. Very impressive overhand dig from Allison Jackson. Baptist Prep defense really good, and, and the setter really going for it there, but just a little tight. How about that? Eagles keep it alive. Hornets get another opportunity. They make the most of it. And once again, it's Aubrey Ruggles, the junior. And this, I, I would submit this, Madison. This, this may be the first time in this match that we're seeing Hackett get a little momentum. It's been pretty much all Baptist prep. Hackett has stuck around, stayed around a couple of times in that second set, but trying to develop some momentum of their own. Yep, and that's the key to a good team. Even if you're not playing your best and you're making mistakes, you keep the pedal, you keep your foot on the gas, and it's going to pay off, and they got a little bit of, bit of momentum, but it's back and forth right now. Yes. Both teams pretty playing evenly. Abby Coleman now to serve. One of six seniors listed on the Baptist Prep roster. They're playing like a really experienced team right now, too. You can tell there's a lot of maturity and a lot of leadership on this team. Eagles retake the lead and try to grab a little bit of that momentum back. That set was a little bit high, looked like that Rothwell just couldn't quite get to it. It goes out and it's another Eagles point. Lots of Eagles fans here behind us, but as the crowd continues to build here in the Banco ZK Arena, a few of maybe some of the fans that could be neutral here today, I think cheering for the Eagles as well. The passion is definitely infectious from the Eagles. I mean, from the coach to the fans behind us to the players, you can tell they really want it. and it's. It's hard not to be on their side if you're neutral. Nice swing at that one. Hornets will get the point. <laughs> I have to give credit, though, to the Eagles. They're excited about just the effort that was shown in, in trying to keep that one around. Emily Ivey, the senior, laying it all out there. But the point goes to Hackett. And the Hornets now trailing by two, trail by three. Ivy checks out, Stevenson comes back in. And as you mentioned, having a pretty solid afternoon. Yes, for sure. Very consistent player. Coming up really big for Baptist Prep. Hackett's gonna look to make a quick side out right now. Get a good in-system pass, set and kill right off the bat. That would make a statement. They don't need to let Baptist Prep get any more momentum. There's a question on the scoreboard at the moment. And it's not really a question anymore. Coach Spoon wanted another point. <laughs> and then her players said, Coach, it's all right. They, they gave us the point. They don't give away <laughs> free points around here. And we have a line violation this time. Michael and Freeman, momentum carried her a little bit far. There's the point that Coach Spoon wanted, by the way. Yep. <laughs> you know, you mentioned her point. They, you mentioned they don't give them away free here. I tell you what, though, the Eagles have done their part to earn every single one. 
A fantastic outing so far. Two sets to the Eagles, trying to make it a third and pull off a sweep here. We'll come back and find out a little bit more about that. You're watching Centennial Bank State Volleyball Championships presented by Everett Buick GMC on Arkansas PBS Sports. Can you see her greatness when you attend her games, when you cheer her on, or when you participate in any way, you support your community and make it better, and you will see her greatness. Join us as we pledge to increase the visibility of women's sports in our communities. It makes a difference when we all are involved. At Everett Butte GMC, we proudly support our local female athletes and encourage you to do the same. See her greatness. For a copy of any of the state championship games, go to mmproductions.net to place your order. mmproductions.net. The way the Baptist Prep Eagles are playing right now, win or lose, a lot of their fans, have, I'm sure, would like to get a copy of this DVD because they are looking good. It's very true, playing so consistently and so strong, and even points that they're not getting, they're still going all out and diving for every single point. The effort is there, and it's paying off. Another serve is ace at the hands of Addie Fielder. That serve, nice and flat, such a good floater. And Hackett just can't backpedal and get their platform under it fast enough. This one's still a little tough coming off the serve receive. Eagles get it over. Now the opportunity for Hackett. Freeman pushes it over. Another opportunity right here. Quick set. And the Eagles are sticking around. And they get the point. Paige Webb coming off another fielder assist. Fantastic swing by Paige Webb. Fantastic set. She loves that area of the court. A little cross body swing, tool off the hand, straight down, almost impossible to dig. Freeman. And Hackett will get the point. Net violation. That's why it's so good to be ahead and have that cushion just in case you make an error like that. It's okay, you still have a good four point lead. This one coming over into our vicinity is going to stay alive. Hornets with a chance. Freeman with the kill. Mackenzie Freeman keeping the Hornets in this one. You know, Coach said Mackenzie Freeman will put the ball away with authority, and that was an authoritative swing <laughs> by her, and her team needs her right now. I like that phrase, and when Coach said that in the uh, – the pregame discussion, I thought, yeah, we're going to have to use that a time or two if she does, and she does. Yeah. <laughs> but the Eagles have been doing it as well and likely better over the course of the afternoon. And they have choreographed cheers. Oh, wow, the fan, I just turned around and saw the fan section behind us. It's pretty big. <laughs> yes. Everyone is on board. <laughs> it's growing. Fielder tries to take that one back across, met at the line, but she keeps it alive. Great dig by Freeman, but the Eagles will come away with the point. She laid it all out, but it's, it's been Baptist prep this afternoon, and 19-14, the lead extends again. You know, a lot of the times when your team is playing really good, it's almost like you can't mess up, you can't do anything wrong. It's when you're in the flow zone, and I feel like Baptist Prep is in the flow zone right now. Hornets send that one long, and the Hornets will call a timeout. Baptist Prep is five points away in this Class 3A state championship match. Back in a moment, you're watching the Centennial Bank State Volleyball Championships presented by Everett Buick GMC on Arkansas TBS Sports. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks. 
by remembering that you come first. By empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charity, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank. Member FDIC. Class 3A state championship on the line here at the Bank OZK Arena. Baptist Trep Eagles up 20 to 14. And Abby Renshaw has had a fantastic day so far. She will serve now for the Eagles. Abby Renshaw having pretty much as good of a day as you can have. And peaking at the right time. State finals showing out for her team. Baptist Prep has never won a state championship. And the fan base here is sensing that that elusive title may be close at hand. Mm -hmm. And how nice would it be to send off all of those seniors with a state title? Well, we mentioned there are six listed on the roster. You know, that means all four years they've been putting in that work. And to have it all pay off their senior season, I can't imagine the feeling. Another kill, another point for the Eagles. Stevenson continues to look good. One of those six seniors, as Presley Morris, another will serve. Just inside, great kill for the Hornets. And it stopped a, another of those many runs for the Eagles. Yep, exactly, that, that's what Hackett hopes to do right now. You stop the run, you gain some momentum, you have players step up, make big plays. You tell the defense, hey, nothing hits the ground. Every single ball needs to be up. Serving now for Hackett, Kylie Hill. Upshaw, one of those seniors for Baptist Press. Prep, excuse me, a nice attack. Jackson's going to send that one long. Hornets staying alive. Yep, Hornets just trying not to have any errors, but then being aggressive at the same time, it's a fine line, but really you have nothing to lose at this point. Fielder, the set, and that one will go wide as well. Stevenson not successful this time. Hackett sticking around. Steven trying to find the outside hand of the blocker and just couldn't get a touch on that. Jackson sends that wide. And the Hornets with four quick points. Looks like coach is going to call a timeout. That's a very smart move by her. Hackett gaining some momentum, looking to make a stop to that, get in the server's head a little bit. Agreed, Coach Krista Spoon, who has been the head coach and I believe the head cheerleader. If there were one here today, I think she has that responsibility as well. Sees her team give up four quick points. And at this point in the match, uh, definitely a good time to slow things down and talk it over with your team. Meanwhile, for Coach Freeman on the other side, this is exactly what you need to do. You haven't had any real momentum all day long. Uh, you've been playing from behind most of the day, but stick around right here because it is not over yet. And so you just want to stay in it, stay in it. Exactly, it's not over till the other team gets 25 points. Nothing to lose, you have to stay aggressive. You know, it's your last game. You give it all you have and that's all they can do. Yeah, and, and you just try to push it to a set four. Exactly. Nice serve, Upshaw. That one falls. It's an impossible place to dig almost. Not impossible, but Fantastic deep swing. Pretty close. Yep. <laughs> it is pretty close. It's not, you're right. It's not impossible, but wow, it's pretty close. Upshaw playing with a lot of consistency, coming up big for her team today. Another senior for the Eagles, Emily Ivy to serve. Good aggressive serve, got him out of system. Upshaw again. 
Upshaw with the kill again. Got that Match point. Got that whole area of the backcourt wide open. The block needed to close and, and cover that area, but match point, here we go. Ivy serve. And the Hornets stay alive. Stay aggressive no matter what. And here with the serve, you don't want to miss your serve, but you also need to get Baptist Prep out of system. You need to make the setter have to get off the net struggling. And here we go. Freeman to serve. Fielder, the set, Jackson. Hornets keep it alive. And the Hornets get another point. Really, really good placement by Mendenhall. Mackenzie Mendenhall, one of four seniors on this Hackett Hornets team, making their fourth appearance here in the finals. Fielder tries to push it over. Morris is there. And there is a line violation now. I'll tell you what, though, that's fantastic coverage by Presley Morris. And she saw she saw the blocker get in there, push the ball back over, and she was underneath it. Very impressive. Hornets sticking around here. Freeman with the serve. And Jackson sends that over. And Jackson gets the point. Match point. Baptist Prep. Look at that dog pile. It's hard not to be so excited for the team, even if you don't even know them. Fans are lining up behind us. Looks like everyone wants to be in that dog pile. Coach immediately bursts into tears. It's obvious they put in a lot of hard work for this win. The first state championship for the Baptist Prep Eagles here in 2022, and they do it in straight sets. 16, 22, and 22 over the Hackett Hornets. Fantastic afternoon and a great showing. What a way to go out. Each element of the team playing with such consistency and such maturity, it's obvious there was a lot of seniors. Getting ready to celebrate both these teams and the seasons that they have had so far. Of course, the handshake there at center court. The Hackett Hornets will close out the season with just two losses. 28 and 2 on the year. And for Baptist Prep, it is win number 36 this season. All of those reps, all of those games, all of those hits leading up to this point. And it's obvious why players and the coaches would cry because there's so much effort, countless hours in practice, all culminating to this one feeling, and it's definitely worth it. Hackett with its fourth consecutive plaque. Two of them as champions, and now back-to-back -back years as runners-up. And you know, I mean, that has to hurt to get to the finals and lose, but that is such an incredible feat to even make it here. They need to not hang their heads. They should be very proud of the way that they played in their season. Agreed. And now the plaque for the State champions, Upshaw there to receive it for her team and take it back in the middle of the mosh pit. <laughs> Congratulations to the Eagles, and what a great, great year. We'll take a break, and we'll be back in just a moment to get to talk with Coach Spoon and one of the Eagles here as you are watching Centennial Bank State Volleyball Championships presented by Everett Buick, GMC on Arkansas PBS Sports. Can you see her greatness? When you attend her games, when you cheer her on, or when you participate in any way, you support your community and make it better, and you will see her greatness. Join us as we pledge to increase the visibility of women's sports in our community. It makes a difference when we all are involved. At Everett Butte GMC, we proudly support our local female athletes and encourage you to do the same. See her greatness. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, 
we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first. By empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charity, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank. Member FDIC. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first. By empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charities, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank. Member FDIC. We're going to have an opportunity to talk with Coach Krista Spoon here in just a moment, but she's going to have to make her way through the sea of people. And uh, so we'll uh, we'll get the headset on Coach Spoon here. She did find a way to get around. It, it helps to have people getting you back over here. Coach, come on in here. We want to get a chance to, to see you, and uh, we can tell that you're emotional. That's not a surprise because we watched you coach. You're a very emotional coach as well. Talk a little bit about your feelings of winning this championship. Um, well, my seniors were seventh graders the last time we came here and we didn't win. And so since the seventh grade, there's six of them. They all contribute, they all play, and they've had this goal since July and they've never looked back. Honestly, they haven't. And I'm so, so proud of them to end the season like we did. It is just truly incredible. I'm so thankful. Talk to me about all the hard work that you put in throughout the season and how it feels for all of that to finally come to fruition. I mean, we, we get after it in our gym every single day. I mean, we have tape on our floor that we, the last person that dives the furthest, we put a piece of tape on the floor. I mean, we, go, we get after it every day. Our, we have a great culture and our bench is very supportive. Like every kid has a role and every kid is important to our volleyball program. We have 65 kids in our volleyball program, seventh through 12th grade, and every single kid contributes. And so I'm super proud of the hard work they put in. Coach, it was a fantastic offensive effort. They came out swinging, no, no question that they were going to be active on the offensive side, but the defense stepped up as well. Yeah, um, my libero is one of the best liberos out there, and my other two DSs, I think you lost me. My other two DSs are truly incredible at well. I would have said the opposite of you, what you said because I would have said coming in, our serve receive and our passing, I think was what was going to get us to where we needed to go because they had lots of offensive weapons, but we just kept them out of system the whole time. And I think that was truly what, what did it for us. That really was key. And, and I know there are a number of players we talked about, Allison Jackson, but uh, also uh, talking about Abby Renshaw. She had oh, a fantastic uh, day as amazing. well. Amazing. Abby's amazing. Abby works as hard, if not harder, than any person in my gym and I can't I'm glad to get her back for another year next year so <laughs> well coach congratulations we'll get a so chance much. to talk with uh, your MVP now take it all in baby yes. thank you we get a chance now to talk with Allison Jackson who is a senior now and uh, have, uh, what a way to finish out your career Allison congratulations yeah. <laughs> on the win thank you so much well, we are um, we want to celebrate you and the, and the fact that you're the most valuable player. Just name that as well. Talk about what that means to you. Um, well, it, it's honestly like such an honor, um, but it wouldn't be possible without my amazing teammates. Um, I just think that this is so important more than just for myself, but for the kingdom of God and like for my school to represent my school, to represent my friends and the teammates that got me here. It's so, so incredible, but it's more than just about me. Oh, I love it. Talk to me about the feelings as you're inching closer to that third set win. I mean, just what were you feeling then? What did it feel like when you finally got that final point? Um, well, honestly, processing everything is crazy, but the fact is that we just made school history. We've never won a championship in um, school history, and so that's just crazy. I, I'm, like, shaking right now still, <laughs> even, honestly. Um, but I just think it's more than awesome. It's the greatest thing, uh, greatest feeling I've felt. And, this, like, I've worked from – fifth grade all the way to this moment to do things like this to be uh, in a spot like this it's awesome last, last I want to ask one last thing that last point I mean you 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 sent quite a few of them across with authority that last point you looked like you just put it back across and and wow it, it went in yeah um, <laughs> barely um, I was like shaking I barely could get off the ground but like to fight and to fight for more than just myself is just everything that gets me through that last point I'm um, wanting it more Congratulations. Um, thank yeah. you so much. Congratulations. Thank you guys. Again, our Class 3A state champions, 
the Baptist Prep Eagles and Allison Jackson, who is the most valuable player, and we give her the congratulations as well. Listen, this is, uh, we're running halfway through the day here, Madison. We have three more state championships on the way. The Class 4A state championship is coming up next. It is set for first serve just a little bit after 3 p.m., so tune in right here to watch that one. Brooklyn and Shiloh Christian in the state championship in Class 4A. For Madison Fitzpatrick, I'm Joey McWilliams. You have been watching the Centennial Bank State Volleyball Championships presented by Everett Buick GMC on Arkansas PBS Sports. More on the way.